so I wasn't really expecting this to happen, but a couple of days ago, my friend hit me up on Instagram saying that there's this car that was at this abandoned house that this guy's renovating. And I was like, okay. And I was wondering like what he was trying to get at. Pretty much it was a 3000 GT and I don't know the full details yet, but we looked at the car yesterday, me and my dad, and apparently the uh, neighbors that are the people that live there moved out and the owner might have passed away of the car so we don't know exactly for sure that this is according to the neighbor so we looked at it and the guy that was running the, of the house he wants it gone so he offered get this 150 dollars just to get rid of the car and we could take it off his hands so that's going to be exactly what we're doing today I'm gonna get some stuff in line. Uh, I'm gonna get tools because unfortunately the car does not have wheels. And we I'm gonna put my my wheels on my car on there and then we're probably gonna put it on a trailer and then tow it home. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It wasn't a 3000 GT, it had 3000 GT parts. It's actually a Dodge Stealth, which if you don't know, they're within, they're kind of the same car. It's just American and Japanese version, but it's a, I think second gen so it had it still has like the three liter uh v6 engine which is what i have except it's only a single cam it's still manual and everything else so i mean i was a little you know skeptical because i know single cam makes a little bit less power but i mean it's not that big of a difference to me because i'll still be able to drive my car so we're still gonna you know look at it or no i'm not gonna look at it. we already did we're gonna um go get everything in order to, you know, get it done. Well, I'm gonna need tools, of course. Uh, I don't know exactly what tools I'll need. And weird enough, this car doesn't have door handles on the outside for whatever reason. So I don't know what that's all about, but it's, it's weird, but there's gotta be some way to get in the car because I don't know how he did. I'm thinking he either had like, he probably had, you know, uh, some type of keyless entry to where he would press it and the door would open. I'm not sure, but it's it's very interesting. So you'll see the car exact and exactly what I'm talking about in a little bit. Really weird because there's no actual like history to go off of because you know the owner isn't with the car so for all we know we could be getting a junk car and the reason they left it is they didn't want to work on it anymore or it could be exactly because that the owner passed away and didn't get to finish working on it but the car is like completely stock so i mean there's like a few like minor mods but nothing the engine looks pretty much untouched like it's pretty much in a really good condition except for all the um, cobwebs and dirt and all that stuff but other than that it looks in a pretty good condition I didn't get to get inside the car to look at the mileage because you know the doors are like weird but um we're gonna go check it out and make sure everything's in order real quick well I'm at my dad's house and I'm at the car that's been sitting I don't know how long anymore but I got to pretty much get these wheels off to get the other car on wheels that doesn't have any which is a little drawback but you know you usually take offers no matter the situation if they're a really good deal so we're going to get this uncovered and get these wheels off real quick two wheels off it's really hot right now got two of them off on this side and they're in the car in my sister's car right now that I'm borrowing and I have to get these two off which is going to be a little bit harder because I have one jack stand but I need to jack the front and the back up so I'm going to use a jack stand and the cinder block and hopefully that will work but I'm only worried about the clearance because there's like not much clearance for the um the jack to get under there so i don't know what i'm gonna do in that instance but 
course I'm gonna try to figure out so I'll get back with you when I do all right so I figured out a little technique to get all the uh, other wheels so in there put the jack stand on both uh, the frame and that cinder block and then you know as you saw earlier the wheel and the, the uh, jack stand so now I'm about to head to Walmart because I couldn't find a receipt book and see if they have any so that way I can find a way to uh, get a like proof of purchase all right so all right yeah so I just pulled up to the place I decided to do a little walk around and show you guys but this is it pretty much it's on jack stands so I got the wheels in the back and like I was saying earlier it is in fact Dodge Stealth. You can see the Dodge Stealth. And it does have some Mitsubishi parts. The front bumper. Dang. You close the hood. Uh, probably don't need to get in now, but I was going to just show you everything. And this is what I mean. I don't know how he used that. But that's interesting. So I've gotten both wheels on this side on and got the jack stands from under it because the guy wants to keep the jack stands. Everything's paid for. Now I just gotta work on this side and on bricks. So it shouldn't be that hard to um, get it fixed. Um, I'm gonna have to come back and get put it on the trailer so everything that we're doing now is just like a little prep so that when we come back it'll actually be easier and yeah so I'm gonna get back to work All right, so it's officially on the ground and pretty much supporting all the way by itself from what it looks like at least. Going through and checking everything's in order. Just have to get inside because the e-brake e -brake is up. So it's not going to technically roll now. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to get it up. Right, so I'm back at the at my dad's house and I talked to the guy I was gonna be borrowing the trailer from so I'm probably gonna get go get that in a few hours but this was like one of in a one in a lifetime chance for me to be able to find and get this price that I paid for it so it's kind of like you know the best thing that could have happened to me and I just just super thankful for everything that fell into place to make it happen. We kind of got a little too strong and pushed it over the actual mount. Shout that. out. <laughs> Shout out. So now we got to figure out how we can pull it back because the wheel has to sit into here, into there. So we don't know like how to do that. Huh? We got the car back. It was really hard. As you can see, the wheel is still over, but we were able to get it home and off the car. That was one of the scariest drivings I ever had to do because I had to keep looking back and make sure the car was actually there. But I uh, got it home, so I'm just happy for that. Now I got to um, get everything done. I'll probably save that for another vlog. Um, gotta keep the security breakdown. But I'll probably do that for another vlog. So if you guys liked the video and enjoyed, please leave a like.